Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Jan Michael here, coming at you with my Oscar predictions, this time for June of 2024. Now, lots happened from last month to this month, such as Cannes having its movie premieres, some disappointing, some exciting, some we kind of knew was probably going to happen. Uh, we also had some major releases in the movie theaters, such as Furiosa, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, The Fall Guy, all of which were box office disappointments. <laughs> and so the argument continues, are movie theaters dead? But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to go over my predictions for lead actor and lead actress at the Oscars. Now, last month's video, it was just about the picture and the director's this month, it's just the lead performances. And again, they are going to be in alphabetical order. They're not in any sort of ranking. So lots to talk about. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Amy Adams for Night Bitch. I'll be honest, the first time I heard the title Night Bitch, I thought to myself, that doesn't seem like a type of movie that the Oscars would want to nominate. And then I read the synopsis to Night Bitch and I thought to myself, that really doesn't seem like the type of movie the Oscars would want to nominate. But you just never know. I mean, they nominated everything, everywhere, all at once. And the first time you saw that, did you think to yourself, oh yeah, the Oscar voters are totally going to get behind that film. So yeah, you just never know. All that being said, I don't know too much about the movie other than Amy Adams plays this, I believe, stay-at-home mom that transforms into a dog from time to time. It's based on a book. I guess I could just go and read the full story if I wanted to, but I gotta do that. I'd rather be surprised while watching the film. It's an intriguing premise, just not one that I think Oscars when I hear, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. A lot of people are kind of hoping on to hope <laughs> that it gets nominated, so I guess I'll follow suit. Daniel Craig for Queer. This is one of those big ones that people are really hoping makes it to the Oscars, and I get it. Daniel Craig has been around for a while now. He's been James Bond. He's had some really good roles. So I think people are ready for him to be an Oscar contender. And with Luca Guadagnino behind the camera, I do think it's a possibility. My only hesitation here is if his other movie, Challengers, does prove to be a big Oscar contender. Maybe they want to push this one back so the two aren't in competition with each other. But who knows? Still a little bit too early to tell, so he's still going to be in my predictions for now. Ryan Destiny for The Fire Inside. This is one that was called Flint Strong beforehand, so maybe that'll sound a little bit more familiar. I know more people are talking about Brian Tyree Henry potentially getting in for his role here, but I think if the movie is big enough and popular enough, Ryan could come along with it. Uh, not really much to say. It is a biopic about an actual boxer that makes it to the Olympics. Again, I try not to dig too deep into the individual synopsises because I, I just don't want to be spoiled, uh, even if it's based on life events. You can see I don't get out much. <laughs> But that being said, that's all I really got for this one. I will be talking more about it when we get to the supporting actor predictions. Coleman Domingo for Sing Sing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this coming. I mean, this is on everybody's top five, top ten, top whatever you have. He's, he's somewhere on your list, right? And I think I've seen him at number one more than any other place just because the performance has already been shown. People have seen it, have raved about it. I don't think anybody's seen anything that will discredit him winning, so yeah, I think it's safe to put him near the top if you are doing a rankings as of right now, but regardless, he's definitely got to be in your prediction somewhere, as he is for me as well. Cynthia Erivo for Wicked. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this one. I, I think I definitely might be in the minority here. I get people have seen the trailer, they're not that impressed with it, so... Yeah, I mean, if you're not impressed with the trailer, I assume that you're not going to be thinking about the performances that much. But if this does end up being big, I could see her coming along with the package. I don't know much about the story. I have I've never seen the play. I, I get the synopsis, the concept, all that stuff, but uh, I don't know really anything about it. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Is this something that could make it if it ends up being a huge film? Or with the story being told, it doesn't matter. It's just not a it's not a role that's really going to be a performance-wise one. So let me know. This is one that I'll turn to you guys. For now, it's just a prediction. Could easily fall off if, if everybody's right about it just not being that impressive. Ray Fiennes for Conclave. This is one that I'm truly hoping does make it to the Oscars. Ray hasn't been there in quite a while. 
I'm actually think it's time for him to win. So yeah, we, we need to get him back. So hopefully Edward Berger does manage to make that happen. Though, I think somebody was making a good point about this, but you know, just because a director's had like a fantastic piece of work, in this instance, All Quiet on the Western Front, doesn't mean that the next film's gonna be this all out hit as well. And I think a lot of the times when you have this acclaimed movie, the follow-up is just in such high anticipation for everyone that it just doesn't meet those standards. And even if it ends up being a good movie, just it ends up just not making it based on the disappointment of it not reaching the highs of the first one. So I'm a little bit cautious going into it, but still, I think a lot of people are with me. They really just want to see Ray make it back to the Oscars. Lady Gaga for Joker, Folia Du. Okay. If Coleman Domingo is everyone's number one for best actor, then Lady Gaga is most definitely everybody's number one for best actress. And I can understand why. I mean, the last film where Joaquin Phoenix totally knocked it out of the park with that performance. Yeah, the movie I don't think overall was incredible, but it was entertaining enough and he definitely was the highlight of that film. So a lot of people are really thinking that the same thing is gonna happen now with Lady Gaga. And sure, I would love to see that happen. Now, I've seen the trailer and I gotta admit that when I hear Lady Gaga in this role, something seems off. It might just be me, but please let me know. Just something seems off in the way she's speaking. They need someone. They need you. And part of me just in the back of my mind is thinking, oh God, I could just see the early reviews coming out and everyone just going, oh my God, that was a misfire in casting. And I really hope not. I really hope it's just me going crazy. And that's all I really got. I just, I have to share my, my, my worries here. But regardless, I am still very much looking forward to the movie and crossing my fingers that she does deliver an amazing performance. Mia Goth for Maxine. I have to include performances on my predictions that I know are probably not gonna get nominated, but are still gonna be amazing performances that I feel have the potential to make it on people's list at end of year for performances that the Oscar snubbed. And I mean, we've already had one with Mia in this franchise with Pearl, who fucking delivered an amazing monologue worthy of any Oscar nomination. And yeah, just absolutely nothing. And I feel she's gonna do it again. Not just based on that Pearl performance, but just about everything I've seen her in. She's just delivering this batshit crazy performance that, my God, I feel is just a testament to how great of an actress she is. So while I don't think this is going to be the one that brings her into the Oscars, though I can always hope, I feel enough people have eyes on her now that she just needs the right role to make it to the Oscars. I see her being an Oscar nominee and an Oscar winner in the future. So definitely gonna include her for Maxine, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing. Tom Hanks for Here. Yeah, I don't know too much about this one other than it's Robert Zemeckis, it's the Forrest Gump people all coming together. So everybody's kind of feeling giddy and excited for the possibility, but I this was definitely be towards the bottom of my list. Cause even if the movie ends up being amazing, we've had amazing Tom performances that don't even get nominated at the Oscar which is kind of insane to me, but I just, with all that in the back of my mind, yeah, he's here for now, but he's not gonna be on my list for long, I feel. Nicholas Holt for juror number two. Before I start, can I just say that I feel that Nicholas and Paul Dano are kind of hand in hand in underappreciated actors that the Oscars are constantly ignoring. Now granted, I don't think Nicholas has had much opportunity to show what he's really capable of, but the things that I have seen him in are just so well done. Like he really dives into those characters and it's easy for me to buy that person he's playing rather than me just thinking, oh, that's that's just Nicholas. But I digress. It's just something that pops into my mind and I wanted to share with you guys. Anyways, juror number two. From what I understand, it's had like early screenings. I think maybe some executives have sat down and seen the film and they're very happy with how it's turned out, which Awesome, because the plot synopsis sounds incredible, but it's Clint Eastwood, so I'm uh, I'm not quite sold just yet. I mean, when he hits, he hits, but he's been kind of a mess lately, so I'm not super optimistic. But hey, I want good performances, so he's going on my list. 
Marianne Jean Baptiste for Hard Truths. I don't know much about this film. I don't really think we have much of a synopsis, just maybe like a concept for it. The only reason I and many other people have included Jean on this list is because she's teaming up with Mike Lay, and the last time they teamed up, she did get an Oscar nomination. So I think a lot of people are thinking the same thing might happen here again. I, again, this goes back to the whole, hey, just because something happened the first time doesn't mean it's going to happen again, but I'll remain optimistic on this frontier until proven otherwise. Angelina Jolie for Maria. Yes, Pablo Lorraine's next sad woman picture is coming soon, and I think a lot of people are jumping on the thought that while this may not be a best picture contender, it is most definitely going to be a best actress contender. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm on board. I'd like to see Angelina back at the Oscars. I think it's been some time since we've last seen her there. And that's really all I got to say about it. Looking forward to seeing the movie. <laughs> all right, moving on. Paul Mescal for Gladiator 2. All right, look, if I were actually ranking these, Paul would definitely be towards the bottom of my list, along with like Tom Hanks. I just don't have any faith in this film whatsoever. Ridley just, just really pissing me off lately, so I don't know. I, I gotta include him just because a lot of people are talking about the film and the last one was just such a big Oscar contender that it'd be crazy not to at least mention them in some capacity when doing Oscar predictions, but I really don't think it's gonna be an Oscar contender. Like, maybe it'll get some, some I don't know, like costume nominations and maybe cinematography nominations. I don't know, just like the tech ones. But yeah, I just, I don't see this being another best picture contender. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll eat my words later, but I just, I don't think he's had a great track record and I'm just not holding on to any hope here. Demi Moore for The Substance. This is one of those nice surprises coming from Cannes. A lot of people really enjoying the film. And some people have been thinking that this might be Demi's return to form, maybe breaking into the Oscars. I'm kind of not 100% on board just because this is a horror film and a very gruesome, bloody one at that. And the Oscars, well, you know how they are with horror films. Would I like to see them finally open up and accept more horror films, especially with good performances? Hell yeah, I would. But all those things combined make me think that's not going to happen. Though, I can see her getting plenty of critic nominations. So, hey, I'm looking forward to following the film and finally seeing it when it releases. Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, Folia Do. Yeah, of course I'm going to have Joaquin in here. If I have Lady Gaga in for Best Actress, I'm definitely going to have Joaquin here for Best Actor. And, I mean, why wouldn't you? It, granted, I think you could make the argument if this was a bigger year for films, like there's just going to be a lot of really tough competition, I could see maybe wanting to push him out, bring in some new blood, since he's already been nominated and won for that performance. But as it is going to be a slower year for films, I feel, I think you just have to include him. I think this is going to be one of the bigger films released. And regardless of it hitting the same highs or not, I think he's still going to deliver a great performance and get in. And that's really all I got to say about that. Jesse Plemons for Kinds of Kindness. Okay, so a couple of things to talk about here. First and foremost, Kinds of Kindness as a whole has been getting good reviews. It's just not getting those amazing reviews like The Favorite and like Poor Things Got. So I think a lot of people are now really jumping ship here saying, yeah, this is just not going to be an Oscar thing at all. Uh, so I understand the thought process there, though, on the flip side, Jesse just won Best Actor at Cannes. So I think that's a nice little boost for the performances in the film. Though, if we're being fair, like the winners of the performances at Cannes don't always go on to be nominated at the Oscars. In fact, it's actually a very low percentage, which is why I don't have the actresses that uh, won for Amelia Perez anywhere on my list. Uh, just because there's too many of them that were nominated. I'm not sure how to really split it up, though. I'm going to keep them in mind for now. It's just they're not going to be on my list. Spoilers. Uh, I just, I don't know. I would love to see Jesse get nominated. I think he's an amazing actor. I think people are really starting to see just what he can do. He got that nomination for The Power of the Dog. I think that was his entry point. Now I think it's really time to take him seriously as a contender. So don't know if this is going to be the film to do it. Uh, I mean, he plays different characters, and I always think that's a really nice showcase of talent, but yeah, the anthology angle, maybe a little bit of a harder sell. Uh, 
Yeah, and the reviews kind of solidified that for me. But still, I gotta include him just because it is something that I would love to see happen. Sarsha Ronan for Blitz. All right, so I do think it's time for Sarsha to get back to the Oscars and finally win an Academy Award. She's been nominated plenty of times before, and I think it's time for her to really earn that trophy. I think she's proven herself. But there's something that's stopping me fully here. First and foremost, I'm not sure the role she's really playing here. I was trying to do a little bit of research on it, but I don't think it's quite been revealed yet, unless it was been the making of this video. But that's kind of making me pause. And the synopsis is that it's following multiple people uh, during this war. So maybe she's more of a supporting role here. And if that's the case, does that give her a better advantage of getting in at the Oscars or winning? Or would lead have been the better choice here? Yo no sé, but regardless, I am excited to see it and see her performance. I'm not the biggest Steve McQueen fan. I mentioned that in the past, but still, I really like Sarsha and I really would like to see her win that Oscar. I, I do think she's worthy and talented enough for it. Bill Skarsgård for Nosferatu. Okay, look. If I did a crazy one with Mia Goth and Maxine, I gotta do a crazy one for the actor ones. And my choice here is Bill for Nosferatu, a film which will probably get zero Oscar nominations, but fuck you, it's my list. I wanna do what I want and I'm excited to see the film. I get Robert Eggers doesn't, he probably doesn't care about getting into the Oscars and being an Oscar nominee and contender, all that sort of stuff. He just wants to make films and that's completely fine. I respect that. But I still would love for the Academy to properly honor him and give him the recognition for me. Don't, don't, don't do it for Robert. Do it for me, Academy. Uh, regardless, this is my weird wild card prediction. You don't have to take it seriously. It's just one that I wanted to include on the list. Sebastian Stan for The Apprentice. I should put like a little disclaimer as long as it gets a distributor because as of the making of this video, it still doesn't have one. Well, it makes sense. I'm, I'm hearing there's a lot of legal trouble behind it. Who the fuck wants to be responsible for all of that? I'm hearing his performance, though, is very, very good. So, you know, I think if it does get a release, he will be in serious contention. I don't know if he'll fully get in. I, I, that's like a whole shitstorm. Something else to think about. Just doing predictions right now. If the movie comes out officially, I could see him getting in. So, of course, I'm going to put him on my list. And to be honest, I am looking forward to seeing it just because... Again, in my past video, I said, I just don't know how you can make a movie about Donald Trump. Somebody portraying Donald Trump seriously, like him as a serious person. Like, it's always like people are making fun of him and playing him in this over-the-top jokey manner. And that's all I can envision. So I got to go see it for it to just kind of fully push that out of my mind and really and really see it as this other type of thing, if you will. Uh, so that's what I got. A lot of, lot of emotions, a lot of things to talk about here. I could probably make a video just on this nomination, potential nomination alone, but I'm not going to do that. He's just on my predictions list for now. Zendaya for challengers. This is the last one I'm going to be talking about for this video. And I mentioned this in my last one, but I just don't see challengers as being a real Oscar contender, though I also admit it, I could see the potential for it to be as well. Like, I can easily see it being, well, you know, score. We got to nominate it for score. And then from there, it just kind of expands. Like, well, we got to give it cinematography. I mean, those shots are amazing. And then before you know it, it's like, oh, we got to give it a screenplay nomination. And then before you know that, you got Best Picture, you got Best Director, you got Zendaya, which I'm sure the Academy would love. Zendaya's definitely going to bring in the viewership. So, yeah, I just, I, I see it being in this crossroads right now. And I just don't know what timeline we're going to be living in. Uh, months from now so that's what I got there it could potentially be this big contender and it could potentially just have no chance whatsoever uh yeah very very much a split and that's all I got to say about it for now and ladies and gentlemen that is all I have for you for this video now next month I will be going over the supporting performances so yeah not my full list just yet but the month after that Definitely. The full-on predictions is coming then, I promise you. So yeah, just, just stick with me here. And in the meantime, let me know what you thought. Am I going crazy with these predictions? Do you think I'm on the right track? Is there somebody that I left out that uh, it's not even on my radar? Let me know in the comments below. If you're cool enough, I may even consider it.
maybe anyway, I don't know. we'll see anyways guys until that next video please stay safe out there and have a good one